الذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر هنا رمضان مفتاح ودرب جاد بالخير يعانقنا فيمنحنا جمالا مشرقا يسري جمالا مشرقا يسري تراويح ومغفرة تجود عليك بالأجر وصوم فيه مرحمة به الحسنات كالقطر به الحسنات كالقطر Take a pill with Kidir Ibrahim Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh You are welcome to another episode of Ramadan Pills with Kidir Ibrahim I hope you would enjoy your pills So Mr Khidir Ibrahim can you first tell us the meaning of Ramadan A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Was salatu was salam ala Rasulullah Muhammad al amin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wahlul ukhdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli So concerning the question what is the meaning of Ramadan or what is Ramadan Ramadan is derived from the word, from the root word Ramida or Aramad, which means intense heat or dryness. While in the Islamic terminology, Ramadan could mean when the good deeds of a believer, of a Muslim, scorches out the bad deed of a Muslim. The same way the heat from coal remold around reform still that's the same way the heat from the stomach remold and reform our character our spiritual the spiritual aspect of us and our the moral aspect of us so in a nutshell ramadan means the heat which is used to reform or remold the spiritual aspect and the moral aspect of a muslim وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر هنا رمضان مفتاح ودرب جاد بالخير يعانقنا فيمنحنا جمالا مشرقا يسري جمالا مشرقا يسري تراويح ومغفرة تجود عليك بالأجر وصوم فيه مرحمة به الحسنات كالقطر به الحسنات كالقطر Take a pill with Kidir Ibrahim Thank you for that beautiful answer, Brother Khidir. Now we know the meaning of Ramandhan. Can you tell us the meaning of Psalm? Talking of the meaning of Psalm, Psalm from the word Psalm and the plural is Siyam. And those who indulge in the act of Psalm, they are called Saim. So Psalm means abstaining from food, or eating, drinking, and talking. Although in our present time, the talking aspect is not usually there. It's majorly abstaining from eating, drinking, sexual intercourse, and other things that will break the fast. This word was used in the Quran, in Surah Maryam, Quran chapter number 19, verse number 26. So, فَكُلِي وَشْرَبُ وَكُرِّ عَيْنَا فَإِمَّا تَرَيْنَ مِنَ الْبَشَرِ أَهَدًا فَكُولِي إِنِّي نَزَّرْتُ لِلْرَّحْمَانِ صَوْمًا فَلَنْ أُكَلِّمَ يَوْمًا إِنْسِيًّا Say, فَكُولِي وَشْرَبُ وَكُرِّ عَيْنَا Say, eat and drink and be glad. فَإِمَّا تَرَيْنَ مِنَ الْبَشَرِ أَهَدًا فَكُولِي إِنِّي نَزَّرْتُ لِلْرَّحْمَانِ صَوْمًا And if anyone confronts you, so when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was 
referring to Maryam. So if anyone confronts you, Fakuli inni nazzartu li rahmani soma. You say, I have vowed to fast to the most gracious. I have made, made an oath to fast to the most, most gracious. Falan ukalli ma yawman insiya. And I will not speak anything to anybody today. I will not speak anything. So the fasting which she was which she undertook then was abstinence from talking. Also, Allah said subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Maryam, Quran chapter 19, verse number 25. You say shake the date tree towards you it will let fall fresh ripe dates that means she could eat but she could not talk that was the fasting in which she indulged in them now in the islamic terminology what is song song is means indulging in act of worship to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while abstaining from anything that can break your fast which includes eating, drinking, taking in of any nutrients of any form, also abstaining from sexual intercourse, and looking at the broader meaning, abstaining from things that will break your fast with the eyes, your mouth, and other parts of your body. If the Prophet Muhammad said in Sahil Bukhari, Volume number three, Book of Fasting, at this one nine zero three. It says, a person who does not abstain from false actions and obscene languages, Allah subhanahu wa taala does not require of him to abstain from eating and drinking. It means, if you abstain from eating and drinking, then you should also abstain from other actions which can nullify your fast. So the fasting does not just end at abstaining from eating and drinking. It also requires us to, to, to be modest, act as good people. We should not use obscene languages, bad actions. We should not look at things that are un-Islamic. Also, in Sunnah Bidawud, Hadith 2363, عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم that Abu Hurairah may Allah be pleased with him said that the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said as صيام جنة that fasting is a shield إذا كان أحدكم صائما فلا يرفض ولا يجهل that if any one of you is fasting he should not um, use obscene languages it should not abuse and it should not behave foolishly if anyone comes to abuse you or tries to fight you فليقول, إني صائم, إني صائم. he should say I am fasting I am fasting so the Prophet Sallallahu has told us that fasting does not just require eating also require us having good conduct not abusing people not fighting and if anyone comes to fight you or attack you or abuses you you say in the same in the same i am fasting i am fasting so fasting requires abstinence from eating drinking sexual intercourse also the fasting of the tongue fasting of the eyes fasting of the mouth and also fasting of the heart and abstaining from anything that would obstruct your ibadah, your worship, or your going close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is what fasting is. <laughs>